Good morning, fellow option traders. This is Jeff, and welcome to the Daily Scan for Friday, April 10th, 2015. Okay, uh, yesterday, jobless claims number, pretty much as expected. Um, and then today, we have import and export prices at 8.30, and the Treasury budget at 2 p.m., this may be of interest just to see you know which which way are we really headed here with the deficit okay um, that being said let's move on to what's going on across the ponds over in Asia mixed but I would have to say mostly bullish and in Europe bullish across the board yeah 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 okay someday I'm gonna learn you know what I mean um, I was uh, watching this particular tasty trade segment here. You may want to check it out. Um, you can see by the title here, Trade Entry Low IV. Um, I haven't completed watching it yet, but you know, there um, Tom is ranting about uh, there being no friggin' volatility, and really, that's the truth. I mean, it's so hard to take a directional bet when your strikes end up so close to the current price that's what's been killing me here I mean look at this look at these IVs here just I mean most of them are below 20 for crying out loud and many are below 15 Tesla's kinda high that's really about the only one but on this list everything is pretty mellow and we don't really like mellow. We like things moving. Uh, okay, but IV percentile. Now you're telling me that um, Apple's in the 66 IV percentile and their IV is 35. So that means that over the last year, the maximum IV on Apple might have been 50 or thereabouts well that's pretty sad Google 25 IV is at almost 50 percent oh, come on you guys come alive a little bit uh, alright so anyway um, here we're looking kinda of flat for our open uh, gold was below 1200 yesterday but now it's popped back up above it and oil is hovering at the 50 level the dollars at 99.60 and the euro has uh, dollars gained. Euro sank overnight to a dollar six, well, dollar seven. Um, averaged out here. Okay, um, we're out of everything except for these uh, long-term uh, wishful bets here. We still have our gold covered call going on here. Both Chipotle and Google um, I exited those trades by buying back the short so I don't have to worry about them anymore and I'll watch them today just in case either one of them pops to the upside and we gain a little bit on the um, I doubt it though but we gain a little bit. If there's no it would have to go into money because we're talking 651 and this is at 670 so it would have to go in the money in order for this to really gain anything today because there's only seven and a half cents of time value and it expires today so um, this is going to sink rapidly and although we can't do a uh, risk profile by the uh, Chipotle CMG um, by the hour <laughs> um, it would have to really pop here in order to give us any sort of return but it would be sweet wouldn't it if it uh, where are we here 673 678 maybe if it went 25 or 30 dollars today that might be kind of interesting but hey, it's not going to happen not going to happen. Even in one standard deviation, which would be a big move, wouldn't even give us anything. Uh, nothing. Until we move up here. 
So that's pretty much it uh, for that or tip for tat. But anyway, we're out of everything. Uh, I haven't compiled the week yet. I'll do that this weekend, but it looks like it's going to probably end up being a wash across all these accounts. So no runs, no hits, no errors, I guess you might say. But starting a new game, first up is Apple. Reading left to right. Um, Apple's flat right here. What do you think the Apple Watch is going to do? This is an entry here if we're looking over here. So let's move this over. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we are in a uptrend now. Let's get rid of this. And I think the Apple Watch is going to be a pretty big hit. Exactly how much of a hit? I'm not sure. But I think it's a hit. I'm putting it on my list for today. I would do a um, bull put on this right now. Apple Watch 24th, I think it launches. I think. And I'm sure it's going to be do just fine. Uh, left to right, we try to stick with this discipline. Uptrend, uh, we have a support line here and we just moved off of it. So we missed an entry here. This is what we should have been looking at here based on the weekly. Trying to stretch things out a little bit more. Um, if you haven't noticed, uh, well, I'm I'm just going to go by this weekly for the trend. It's kind of rolling over, but we're baselining here. But we're, I think we're setting up a real nice, strong support level here at 367 or so. So if we can get something down here over the long term, I think that that would be kind of the way to do that. And we might be looking long term at some of this stuff. We might be going a little bit longer than we'll still use the weeklies, but not every week. We might go out week two, three. We have earnings coming up here. IV is going to be increasing. Um, yeah, so might be interested in that. But we missed this particular trade, so let's kind of move over here. I don't want to chase this. All right, we'll take a look at Baidu. Uh, Baidu had a resistance level here, and it just popped through it yesterday. So we are in a new uptrend. We got PPS up. We got the moving average moving up. We broke out above this uh, resistance line. Everything's moving up down here. Momentum is up. Momentum is up. Excuse me. Momentum is up. So. Uh, there we go. Chipotle. And it's probably not going to give us that move today that I was talking about. Pretty obvious here. I'll just uh, remove all drawings, start from scratch, and put a new target up here. We're still in a downtrend. Could have done another entry here, tell you the truth. But nothing coming up like for today or anything. Uh, Costco sunk. So I'll tell you what, I'm a little bit hesitant about. Here, this one is a nine day. Oops. The nine day just turned down, so that's sort of predicting what's going to happen here with this 21 day, or period, I should say, 21 week. So. Um, a little bit, I'm definitely just turned bearish on Costco. I don't know why they did that. House March sales weaker than expected. Ah, yes. There's some news down there that's not very good. All right, what hot stocks to watch? Weaker, 4.9, a lot of news on 4.9. Let's see here. Here's how Walmart wants to win you back. Yeah, they can clean up their stores. At least my local store is kind of old. 
dark, crowded aisles are jam-packed full of junk. All right, uh, you know, I like Walmart, you know, and, and it's, it's like a love-hate relationship, I guess you could say. Uh, but I, I am a Sam's person because it's much closer than Costco. If Costco was closest, I would be a Costco person. I have no loyalty to any of that stuff. I just want the best price. That's all I want. It's just the best price. So, um, I'm going to think about, I'm going to put Costco down here. I'm going to think about it today and figure out what I can do with this uh, big move here. Maybe sell a calendar up around here or something. I don't know. I'd do something a little bit different than a vertical. Let's see what comes up here. Uh, and I'll see what I come up with. Here's the Dow. Here's our downward sloping trend line on the weekly. Uh, we have a uh, nice support here on, I mean, uh, on the daily, sorry. On the weekly, we're flat. Flat, and we have support here. Give me zero degrees. There we go. Support right along here at 176. Uh, and the moving averages are wiggling around each other, just waiting for something to happen. Uh, gold. No, it wasn't a, trying to get into an uptrend. Anyway. <laughs> You know, it's going to take me probably another 20 years to get the cost basis down on that trade. Uh, Google working out pretty good here. Even though our weekly is showing still in an uptrend, we did get a PPS down and a down on the 9 period. We have IV increasing, which would be mean that if you're going to do anything, you may want to be in net buyer rather than um, a net seller because IV is going to be increasing so if you wanted to you're going to take a bet down here well actually I disproved that didn't I anyway uh, I'm going to take a look at what that uh, Sosnoff video says you know if I could do something like I don't know buy a put or buy a call if I could afford to do it but I can't afford to do it at these prices um, if we go out uh, time value on some of this stuff say out past or around earnings um, to do anything sensible why would I buy a put if I think it's going to go up but it would cost me $770 that's a lot of money and then you may end up just losing the whole thing. So, don't like that. That's why I much rather, much rather be a net seller of options and let time decay work for me. Okay, uh, LinkedIn. Not doing anything with Google, just in case you're wondering. Uh, LinkedIn is currently in an uptrend. We were looking for something to go down, but on definitely on the daily we just got a PPS up weekly um, the nine day nine period is up 21 is still tipping down but that may change LinkedIn may come around I'm not sure exactly what to do with that so I'm taking everything off of here and we'll start from scratch and see what happens with it NDX uh, definitely in an uptrend big support level here um, we have resistance up here at the high but I would be willing to say that I could do something um, something I could do some sort of bull put here somewhere out in the future I think I think we're probably heading up to new highs I just have that gut feeling. Uh, okay, so earnings coming up on Netflix. Not touching that with a 10 foot pole next week. See what it did to me. Ochi ochi. But uh, we did end up. How did we end up with that? Uh, we lost $2.14 on that sucker. Ugh. Um. 
missed this last this surge during the day and a little bit of a pullback would have been would have worked out well so we're removing all the drawings on that and letting that rest price line up up we tried to go down so now we're looking here and we have a, a ways to go yet before earnings. Russell, uh, get a little fright on that. Up, up, tried to go down, got burnt. We put a new target here. I, I delete all drawings just in case there's something in the past. Is there anything here? Nope, no drawings on this one. All right. Um, we're in an uptrend. We're in an uptrend. We got PPS up. Everything's looking up for the Russell. Probably the same thing on SPX. Uh, let's get rid of everything. Uh, and we got out of SPX. Let me look over here uh, with a 20 cent gain. Nothing to be proud about there, that's for sure. So we have a new target here. We're up, up, up. We are up everywhere, and it looks like we're uh, moving into wedge territory here, actually. And last, but not least, Tesla uh, just went into, just reversed our trend here into an uptrend. So let's go back here and grab a target down here. We'll see what uh, how that one works out. So I'm going to take a look at um, Costco and SPX today, and we have a setup on Apple, and that's it for today. This is the last day of the week. Uh, if you can catch this uh, Tasty Trade episode here, you find it down in Market Measures on the main page. Um, it's too bad they don't. They don't. I don't know why they don't show that up here where you can just go directly to it I don't know what the data this is uh, that's the one here pop improvement trade entry low IV it was down here under trading strategies and market insights so catch it right away and uh, good luck it should be a good one where are we here this is a 15 minute segment so we're like a couple minutes into it here, and he hasn't really gotten anything except ranting and raving about low IV. So it should be interesting anyway. So that's it for today. Uh, it's Friday. Have a great weekend. Thank you very much for watching, and happy trading.